New at 11, a woman in Midtown is out of hundreds of dollars after witnesses say an Amazon driver hit her car and then drove off. The woman has been trying to get the company to take responsibility, but Amazon refused her claim. CBS 46 is Zach Summers. He's live in Midtown getting results tonight. Zach, you spoke with all the parties involved. Yeah, you know, the woman tells me Amazon was very responsive at first. She says she sent them the police report, which had witness information, pictures and more. But her claim was denied. Now Amazon has taken a second look after we got involved. This is the condition Christina Kugelion found her car in on August 16th. It's not safe to drive anymore. She'd parked it outside her apartment on Piedmont. Gone was her left rear view mirror and door handle. The door was caved in and there were scratches all along the left side of the car. I was really frustrated after I talked to my neighbor. Just so happens her neighbor, Zachary McCoon, who Kuvlion had never met before, saw what happened. So I wrote down that it happened at 948. McCoon says an Amazon driver was responsible for the damage. And I see a, an Amazon truck just like come up, pull over, huge crashing noise and then they stop, back up, and it makes it so much worse, and they just drive off, like tire screeching, drive off, uh, and then take a ride there on 10th Street. Despite supplying Amazon with what she thought was sufficient evidence, Christina got a response from the company that it was not enough to grant her claim. The email that I got from them simply said, no driver found at time of loss, um, which I took to mean that they cannot establish what driver was in the area without a package number. Um, for a company like Amazon, I do find that a little hard to believe. Amazon reopened Kuvion's claim after we reached out today. Spokesperson tell on CBS 46 that they are investigating this incident and appropriate action will be taken if needed. It's not that I can't afford to pay it. It's that I really shouldn't have to. It's a billion dollar company internationally. They could pay for it. McCoon says he regrets not snapping a picture, but it all happened so fast. Cameras in the area also didn't catch this crash. We'll follow up with Amazon next week to see where their investigation leads. Live in Midtown, Zach Summers, CBS 46 News.